This video is going to show you the danger of having two neutrals that are double lugged or two neutrals under the same uh, boat. Now, what I have here to simulate that is I join two neutrals here uh, and use a, a pigtail to put them here. So what happens, the danger is that you may have a circuit off and you may think it is off. As you see, these four circuits are off right here. This is a single circuit that's separate, okay? But I have all these four off. And let's say I want to come and do some work. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut that one off as well. This is a single circuit, okay? Now, if I cut this off and cut it on, I can have this circuit on right here, okay? And as you see here, my amps, I'm getting zero amps coming through. And that's exactly what you need. I'm also getting zero amps on this particular circuit I want to work on, which is, which is right here. Okay, I'm getting zero amps right there. Now, over here I have a circuit that comes over to what's going to be today our space heater. Now, we have a space heater and I also have a power tool. And the space heater is going to simulate maybe a space heater or a microwave or a, a toaster oven or something that's going to draw between 12 and 15 amps. Now, the danger of having that double neutral here, this double neutral connected to something else that you want to work on is that you can get shocked. It only takes 0 0.04 amps to start to do some damage and you can actually get killed at 0 0.06 amps. As you see, this particular circuit is off. Now, let me show you how many amps this is drawing. I'm going to turn this breaker on. That's the heater. And I turn it on. I'm already drawing 14, 14 and a half amps, okay? About 14 and a half amps. Now, I'm going to bring it over here. And remember, I had zero amps earlier. I'm already picking up 0 0.2 amps. So, once again, I have someone, or a lot of people actually have neutrals, double neutrals in their house. And that means that two, these two neutrals are under one nut back here. But the problem is that when you see this, you can already know that even if you cut off a particular circuit like this circuit right here to work on, if you cut it off, you're going to get some back feed. And right now I have just enough for that. So this is the equivalent, like I say, of having a toaster oven or just a heater or something, a microwave, and then having it on the same circuit. You may see that in your kitchen where the person who wired your house, they may have wired the lights together and all the plugs together. And they did that or excuse me, they could have wired them separately wired the plug separately and the light separately, but then put both of the neutrals under here. They may some, say something like, oh, well, it's all going back to the same place. Or they may say something like, I just want to be able to find my neutrals easily. No, you find your neutrals easily by labeling them. And yes, it goes back to the same place. And it's, in this case, definitely because it's the uh, point of first disconnect. But as you see, the 14 amps here, the 14 amps here, some of it is bleeding over to this one that I'm sharing, okay? Now it's up to about 0 0.05, 0 0.6. That's enough to kill you right there. So some of it is bleeding over to here. But if you see the one with the solo neutral, it doesn't have anything, 0 0.00. That's what you have over here. So please have someone to come out and inspect your house. Make sure you don't have any double neutrals because it can be deadly. And if not deadly, it can have a shocking experience. This is the danger of having two neutrals under one wire.